Hey guys, welcome back to some more Fake Card Friday. So I was on Yu-Gi-Oh! Cardmaker.net looking for a fake card to look at when I came across a familiar card and we just had to do this. This is a revisit. So this is King Quad Razor. So you might have remembered this from the return of Fake Card Friday, the first card we looked at. Apparently the creator redid it, redux. Queen King, <laughs> this name is hard to say. Quad Razor Redux. So we're going to go ahead and look at the redo of Qua Quad Razor. I keep on saying his name right and then saying it wrong. We're going to go ahead and look at it and compare it to its old version. So uh, I believe his stats are pretty similar. No, actually he's not. Instead of being light, he is now dark, rank 4, machine, XC, effect monster. But instead of having a whopping 4,000 attack and 4,000 defense, he just has question mark attack and question mark defense. So I'm assuming that he gets his attack and defense from his effect. But unlike last time, where he was made with 4 rank 4 XC monsters with the same type. Holy crap. He does not have any stipulations to be made because apparently the creator decided to remake him so he must be XC summoned by using one face-up rank 4 XC monster you control that has XC materials. XC materials attached to that monster also become the XC materials on this card. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. So let's say, for example, uh, let's do something simple. We're going to slap him on top of a cast stone with XC materials. So is it worth it? You know, because usually... I would like to keep the XC materials on Castell Detached 2 and spin something back to the deck, but no, I'm, I want to go into King Quad Razor right here, so we're going to slap him on top of Castell without using an effect. So it's Castell, rank 4 monster, who has both XC materials, two XC materials. So is it worth it in comparison to his old version, where I did use four rank 4 XC monsters with the same type? Holy crap, so lots of XC materials to be used. So. His first effect reads, this card's original attack is equal to the total ranks of all XC monsters attached to it as XC materials times 400. Also, it gains 400 attack for each XC material it has. So, like I said, we're using Castell as an example. Castell is rank 4 times 400, so 1600, plus the another additional 400 for each XC material, so it's an additional 800. So, he is... 2400 yeah yeah that's definitely nothing in comparison to the powerful whopping 4000 attack 4000 defense but he is much easier to summon i mean all i do is just slap him on top of a castell well in his old version not the redux version he needed four rank four xc monsters with the same type so you know slapping on top of castell in comparison to you know this right here uh you know he'd be the same exact attack uh type of attack if we did like utopia or something so if i want to switch the example it's just whatever the rank is which is he is stacked on top of a rank four monster so it's additional 16 and then additional 400 for his same material attack so it was utopia cast out whatever he'd still be 2400 not as strong as before but much easier to summon instead of making it like previous where it says he cannot be used as a tribute or as a fusion synchro xc uh for a summon this the creator pretty much has changed it to a simplified version of Cannot be used for a summon. So, tribute summon, feature summon, XC summon, secret summon, whatever cannot be used for a summon. Uh, it's interesting that last time he put synchro summon, but with the change, it's just like, well, he's a uh, he's an XC monster. I don't think he'll be used as a synchro summon. But also now with the new link summoning mechanic, which did not exist uh, back when we reviewed him the first time, he cannot be used as a link summon. So, for example, you know. We want to go ahead and make, I don't know, uh, a decode talker who needs three effect monsters. You can't use him. He cannot be used as, for a summon. That includes link summons. You cannot use him. So that's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Uh, and, of course, last time he had a pretty powerful lockdown effect. So while he had a rank 4 XC monster as XC material, which he probably will after making it with 4 rank 4 XC monsters with the same type. Your opponent cannot activate card or effects, uh, and pretty much card or effects negated while he had that XC material. So pretty much a super lockdown, um, except for rank 4 monsters. So that's definitely something that was different this time. He's not as hard as a lockdown. He definitely got weaker in the attack department, easier to summon. Uh, this time, it's just, well, 
This card has XC materials. Neither player can special summon monsters except for rank 4 monsters. So, you can still activate cards and effects. You can still go ahead and hit him with the Regeki, a Dark Coal. Uh, he still can't be used as a summon, so you can't just conjure him, but you can hit him with that uh, Slumber, so that's much powerful. And neither player can special summon monsters except for rank 4 monsters. So, just similar to last time, you can handle them the same exact way, just summon rank 4. So, I think with how he's a little bit weaker, how cards and effects can can affect him and be played and activated. Uh, but your opponent can, neither player can special summon monsters except for rank 4 monsters. I think this Redux version is actually stronger, despite being technically weaker. Because of how easier he is to summon, just slap him on top of a rank 4 XC monster with XC materials, and the way that he kind of has like a pseudo vanity's emptiness for locking out all special summon monsters except for rank 4 monsters. If your opponent's not playing a deck that can make rank 4s, they're pretty much locked out of special summoning. So that in itself is pretty powerful. And I, I think that uh, just the way that he's easier to summon and how he's like a pseudo Vanny Zemtis for everything that's not a rank four. Uh, and the way that he's similar yet different, I like that. I like that. Uh, he's not going to be as bulky, like I said. He's looking at about 2400 attack, but you know what? 2400 attack and pretty much a Vanity's Emptiness, except for rank 4 monsters. But if your opponent can make a rank 4 monster, they could make their own Castello 101 or Utopia anyway. So they could just handle you anyway, so that that's not anything. But uh, just the fact that if there's a chance that your opponent's not playing a deck like that, they're going to be in some deep shit. It just sucks that right now, uh, Zoos, Zodiac, and CCG is the rank 4 shit, so... You know, you bust this guy out, and I'm just like, all right, summon a zoo, make a Drancia, detach, pop, you're gone. So, yeah, definitely something that can be. But he got wrecked by that last time anyway, so. And his uh, last effect, some last time, that once per turn during either player's end phase, the chat takes a material from this card unless you make it lose 1200 uh, attack and defense, that's, that's gone. He doesn't lose, he doesn't have to detach. Really, this card doesn't detach at all, which is interesting, because he's, you know, he's an XC monster, but he doesn't detached so I, I i don't know i don't know it's just it's, it's really weird so uh yeah really that's all i had to say about this guy so i'd say that the redux version is stronger definitely stronger uh the guy creating the card said i'm redoing this card because i like the the artwork and wanted to get some love yeah yeah i mean i revisited it it's been on fake card friday twice in like the last two months so Congratulations, it's got, definitely got some love. It's based on XC monsters that rely solely on XC evolution and being a floodgate for rank 4s. Yep. Uh, it is designed to be a go-to staple in any rank 4 toolbox, even after link summons and the new card rules. It definitely would be if this card existed. You know, it'd be like, oh, well, my deck relies on link summons. Like, yeah, that's nice. I'm going to go ahead and go and slap on my King Quadrazar and you're going to be locked, you know, unless you make some rank 4. So it pretty much is a rank 4 of all rank 4s that makes it so you got to play some rank 4s. It's just nice that it doesn't have that super floodgate effect that he had last time, where it's just like, all right, I have two materials, cards and effects can't be activated, and I can't be kaijued. Uh, you pretty much can't touch me unless you make a rank 4. At least you can get hit with trap cards. At least you can get hit, hit with spell cards. So uh, easier to summon, not as floodgate but still a great card. So, yeah. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about uh, King Quad Razor Redux redone in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday. Of course, next Friday we'll be back with another Fake Card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I will see you guys next time. All right, people. Thanks for watching.